how to show different banner image on mobile and desktop in Shopify 2024. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how you can show different banner images on mobile and desktop in Shopify in the easiest and most simplest way possible. And we're gonna be going through this in great depth and detail. So please do make sure to follow me through all of this till the end so you can get a good idea of how we are going to be working with this okay so to start things off what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to go ahead into my shopify and log in i do know that we will need to use a little code in this okay we will need to use a little coding in this because uh, without coding this is not possible okay so i'm going to go and log in with my actual account now while i am into the login process what we are going to do from there is i'm going to be taking myself to the whole load in section okay and here i am now once you're over here you know showing different banner images on mobile and desktop like obviously your views for mobile and desktop are going to be different for your page so let's say i'm going to go in my online store and uh, i'm going to click on uh, customize now obviously once you click on customize it's going to open up uh, a different uh, viewer which is going to give you two views so it's going to give you a mobile view and it's going to give you a desktop view so here's your desktop view here's your mobile view you get two different aspect ratios two different widgets and two different actual alignments to work with okay but obviously if you clicked on this video you don't want that you want it to be pretty straightforward you want it to be pretty simple you want it to be pretty simplistic you know that's what you want and trust me that is exactly what we're going to be doing so to help yourself with this and to help yourself through this what you are going to be doing is you're going to go ahead and follow all the steps that i am going to be walking you through and obviously before we start off please do make sure to drop down a like on this video and please do make sure to subscribe to the channel because that truly helps me out a lot and it would truly mean a lot for me so to actually start things off, what I'm going to do is we're going to go back, click on exit. Now, whatever theme you have, obviously make sure to create a duplicate, okay? Because in some cases, there could be the issue that you don't like what you have done to your page and you might want to go to the original version. So always make a duplicate before editing or adding something new to your page. So let's say I have uh, made this copy or I've made this duplicate of my page, all right? So what I'm going to do is uh, i'm gonna go here okay and we can actually go ahead and edit this website's code okay i can edit this whole thing by going here and clicking on edit code now once you go on edit code what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down to your assets okay i'm gonna close the templates and layout so you're gonna scroll down to assets and uh, in your assets you're obviously gonna find the necessary assets that you're gonna want it's gonna be called section dash image dash banner okay you're gonna find it in the s section so there we go section dash image dash banner so this is what you're gonna be needing okay this is the text widget that we are gonna be messing around in because this is your actual image banner for your home page or for your front page okay this is what you are actually working with when you're in your actual home page so what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna scroll down to the most bottom and once you're over here there is going to be a code that i'm going to be showing you right now okay i'm going to be providing you so you're going to go to pastebin okay i'm going to show you the exact url and in some cases it might not load up for you it might give you an error this is the url by the way e31r6f79 so what i'm going to do or we all are going to do is if this doesn't run for you mostly it's because it needs a vpn to give it a kickstart so turn on a VPN connect to, you know, American servers and all. And there you go. It runs up. So now what you're going to do is you're going to simply copy this. Now I'm just going to quickly go and turn off my VPN. There we go. Now once this happens, what you're going to do from there is you're going to copy that code off of that URL. By the way, if you didn't understand the URL, you could simply pause this video and write it out in a new tab for yourself. Okay. Now, once you have copied this code, what you're going to do is you're going to come down over here, okay? And once we are down over here, we're obviously going to go ahead 
and paste it just like that now as we've pasted it obviously is this code starts from here okay from banner content okay you get all these banner buttons and all but my code obviously starts from banner content now once you do this you're going to click on save once you click on save it says asset saved and now we're going to back out of this now once you back out of this you have obviously customized it with this so i'm going to open up the customizer for this and uh, i'm going to go into the actual image section and as you can see i get the option for first image and second image right so i'm going to click on select image and i'm going to choose some random image for my first image okay so let's say i'm going to go with let's find a horizontal image let's say i'm going to go with that as my first image okay i'm going to add that in real quick and once you add that, obviously you're going to add a second image for yourself. So what the first image is going to do is it's going to associate itself with the actual banner image on your desktop. And mostly the second image associates itself with the mobile banner image. So I'm going to go and add images again. And once I go and add images again, I'm just going to choose another horizontal picture. And let's go ahead with... Let's see, we have this photo. So I'm going to go ahead and add this in the second. You can actually add overlays as well from the actual store library that they've provided you. But if you simply just want to go ahead and add uh, these things, so I'm going to add the second image. Now, as you can see, the second image didn't really get overlaid, did it? So if I were to go ahead and click on inspect element and I'm switching to my mobile view, look at that. In my mobile view, it's going to switch to the other image but if I turn mobile view off look at that it's gonna switch back to that turn mobile view on switch back to that so you know that's basically the idea of how you are gonna be switching your images from banners uh, for your mobile and desktop okay you're gonna switch them differently and uh, that's how you're gonna work with this so basically that's the general idea of it now so if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the foreseeable future, please do let me know down in the comments below and I will be making a whole lot more videos for you. So yeah, as I stated, please do make sure to drop down a like, subscribe to this channel, fully share it out with people, comment and, uh, you know, let me know something nice if you watched it fully till the end. So yeah. That's, uh, you know, generally the greatest uh, idea of it when it comes to switching your banner images. So thank you for watching and I will see all of you people in the next video. Goodbye.